Turn it out to some <laughs> questions that we are getting from our viewers. What does an EKG test measure and how can I prepare for my appointment? This is from Vinny and the best person to answer that question is Dr. Darian himself. Good to see you again. Love this question. I think it's so important because EKGs are so common in the emergency room. I'm probably reviewing one every 10 minutes just mm. because that's what's important and necessary. And I wanted to start with some basic understanding of what an EKG is, what it's for. Just for our viewers at home, this rhythm is not a normal rhythm. <laughs> it should not look like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's great for the depiction. Number one, EKGs help to show us the rate of the heart rate, uh, the rate of the heartbeat. Number one, how are you doing? Are you bradycardic, meaning your rhythm is too low, or your beat is too low? Are you tachycardic, meaning it's too fast? That's mm. one of the first things that we look at. The next thing is the heart rhythm. You know, we call things so a perfect rhythm is called normal sinus rhythm. That helps us to understand is all the parts of your heart working in sync. That's really important because when they aren't, then that can predict a, a future of a problem. For example, a common heart rhythm issue is AFib or atrial fibrillation. Many people live with it. If you get diagnosed with it, it's no reason to be concerned, but you should get treatment. And then the third and the last thing about what we're looking for are the strength and the timing of your electrical signals. So every time your heart beats, it, send out, it sends out an electrical pulse, and that's sensed by those electrodes or those stickers that are on your chest. Obviously, an emergency situation is something different, but if you know you're going to be having one of these tests, uh, what's the best way to prepare for it? Number one, a lot of people ask this, what do I eat before my EKG? You can eat as you normally would. There's nothing you need to do in terms, in terms of your diet. But I think in terms of how you dress is really important. So you want to dress comfortably because you're going to have to take off your shirt. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you wear something you can open up and you can unbutton. And then also avoiding oily skin lotions. A lot of the electrodes are used stickers. And Debarco. so when we, <laughs> when we stick them on the chest, if you have a lot of oily skin lotion on, it can disrupt the rhythm. It might not make it accurate. So you want to make sure to keep it as simple as possible. Every time I go in and get an EKG, the nurse comes in with alcohol pads and stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> my hard work yeah, here. All that oil there. <laughs> Doc, thank you very much. We appreciate it. And folks, we would love to hear from you, so please hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for Dr. Darian at ABC GMA3.